Well, how it was happening on Brace. My name is Lone Wolf, and, and welcome back to Gary's Mod. Now, in case you're wondering why we are on a really big map again, and look at this. Soft Lens Flare. And that's that's why the other ones have. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. We are going to be taking a look at the TNC WAC, unofficial WAC, and all of these WAC aircraft that I found on the Steam Workshop, and we are going and, and we are going to be taking a look at them all today. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up, we we've got the A10 Thunderbolt Buck. Uh the mighty A10 Thunderbolt, also known as the A10 Warthog. Okay, let's climb on in. Okay, so. Or, or no, wait. Actually, since we are going to be flying, we are actually going to head up there to a sky. Let's climb down the ladder and hit the sky. So, yeah, let me uh, just get it. Let me just stand like this and spawn the thing. And so, yeah, this guy's the A10 Thunderbolt. Now, to fly it, you need to, like, you need to, like, use the mouse to, to basically, like, go, here, let me get out. So, yeah, like, as you fly, doing this makes it go down, doing this makes it go up, and, and doing this and this makes it turn left to right. And so, yeah, and this, left click are, are the guns, and, and right click does nothing, and, and R is to start it up. Okay, like, okay, but uh, yeah, I'm not, not the best pilot, so yeah, we've only, we've got the A-10 Thunderbolt and B, which is the uh, more camouflage one, but uh, we unfortunately are not going to be flying that thing today, and, and, and we guys are actually going to go to the, uh, like, desert area, where it's more open, so yeah, okay, on to over here, next up is the A-6M2, which is one which is a Japanese World War II fighter plane. Okay, can I get in? Yes, I can. Now let's start her up. And she has guns. See, so yeah. Like I said, not exactly the best pilot, as I said. Okay, so, next up, we've got the BF-109E. Which is a Nazi World War II fighter plane. Man. Oh, man. This thing is huge. Oh, wait. Okay, I, I may need to move this thing out a little bit away from the ladder so that it doesn't, like, mess up or anything. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, and as you can see, this was a Nazi World War II uh, fighter. And now let's start her up. I guys am gonna actually do something special for this. I am going to actually now look up the engines of the A6 M2. Okay, uh, A6 M2 uh, War Fighter. Okay, so the A6 M2. Oh, oh, this is the Mitsubishi. A6 and Zero. This thing's first flight, April 1st, 1939, and it, and, it, and it entered service with the Japanese military on July 1st, 1940, and retired in 1945, and about 10,939 were made. And now on to the, uh, like, specs of this thing. See, uh, specs. This thing measures nine... 9.6 meters, which is 29 feet 8 inches long, wingspan of 12 meters, which is 39 feet 4 inches wide, standing 3.05 3 meters, which is 10 feet tall, a wing area of, uh, of 22.44 square meters, which is 241.5 square feet, 
can carry an empty weight of, of 1,680 kilograms, which is 3,704 pounds, and a loaded weight of, of 2,796 kilograms, which is 6,164 pounds. And, in, and this last well, one of the, of the main specs is, is brought by one Na, Nakajima Sake 12 engine, which produces 700 kilowatts, which is 940 horsepower. A never exceeded speed of 660 kilometers, which is uh, 356 knots and 410 miles an hour. And uh, yeah, you know what, guys? I guys am actually gonna not continue on with this because I'm afraid that. And now on to the BF109E Nazi World War II fighter. Okay, so this is the B. F 109E. This is the this, this is actually the Messerschmitt BF 109 from straight from World War II. Its first flight, May 29th, 1935, and entered service with the Nazi military on, in February of 1937, and retired on May 9th, 1945, with Luft. Waffa and retired on December 27, 1965 with the Spanish Air Force. About 3,984 were made. 239 plus HA-1112 uh, 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 and, and 603 AVIA-S-199s were uh, made. And now for the uh, specs on this thing. Let's see. This thing is powered by by one Daimler Benz DB six hundred five A dash one liquid cooled inverted V twelve one which produces one thousand four hundred seventy five PS oh wow, we're just pounds square inch I believe and, and one hundred eighty five kilowatts which is one thousand four hundred four hundred and fifty five horsepower engine that is a lot of power. Guys, can you imagine how much power that is in this thing? That is a lot of power. Okay, so that was the uh, Messerschmitt BF-109E. Uh, Next up, I, I better get back for this because this is going to be a big one. Next up, we've got the De Havilland DH-98 Mosquito. And here she is. The, the De Havilland DH-98 Mosquito. And I, guys, I'm going to once again, just like with some of the other ones, read read the specs on this thing. See a uh, De Havilland. See a uh, De Havilland mosquito. The the De Havilland mosquito. So the wait, then let me let me just get into no clips so that y'all can get a good view of this thing while I read the specs. The mosquito's first flight. 25 November 1940, and, and, and introduced 15 November 1941, and its status is retired, and and about 7,781 mosquitoes were made. Well, not actual bugs mosquitoes, but uh, I don't think it was actually named after, like, a bug or something. I don't know. Yeah, can I actually, like, find the specs of this damn thing? Because apparently it's not going to, like, give me the, uh, like, specs of it or anything. So, hopefully the, uh, like, main parts will just give me some information on this damn thing. Uh, let's see. Where are your specs? Where are your specs, you big, bizarre-looking beauty from, from, from the World War? Okay, you spent... Can see the crew of two, which is the pilot, navigator slash radar operator, and is powered by two Rolls Royce Merlin 2121 or 2323 left right liquid cool V12 engines, which produce 1,480 horsepower. That is a lot of power for a British warfighter. Uh, can I, can I get in, you please? Can I get in, please? Hello. Javelin? Okay, maybe I'll just... 
can't get in this damn thing. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, so yeah. Okay, so let's start her up. So yeah, that was the DH-90 Mosquito. Now these next aircraft, these, the, the, these next aircraft that are coming up are, all right. They are going to be. They may or may not be your favorites. Next up, we've got the FW-190A5. Yet another German World War II fighter. So while we got time, before I need to separate this into yet another part, see, so this is the FW-190A5. This is the Fonke Wolf FW-190. Its first flight, June 1st, 1939, and, 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 and entered the service with the Nazi military in, nine, on, in August of 1941, retired on May 9, 1945 with Luftwaffe, and, and, and retired in 1949 in Turkey, and over 20,000 were made. Oh my god, that was a lot of them that were made. Let's see, uh, okay, so this is the, uh, there's actually like two different versions of this. The first version is powered by BMW 801 D-2 uh, radial engine which produces 1,677 horsepower and the second version of it, the D-9, is powered by is powered by a Junkers Jumo 21213A uh, 12 cylinder inverted V piston engine which produces 1,726 horsepower with uh, with boost. So yeah, this thing, guys, came in many, 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 many variations at the time. So without further ado, let's get excited, start her up, let's fly. And yes, and yes, it's got guns. Um, but like I said, guys, I'm not exactly the best pilot, so, so yeah, don't judge me! Okay. So yeah, I guys, I'm gonna now cut this into multiple parts, just like I've done in the past. 